that was also no longer in the corporate world, which is where my body started to die to begin with. So leaving that, going on to a holistic path, but still nobody had said to me, is there pleasure in your life? I would love to know about your sort of experience with your, you know, reproductive health. And then if you want to talk about your experience at the School for Womenly Arts and, and what that's been like and how that's opened you up and really just all of it. I mean, I'll let you lead and, and um, see where we go. But I think my listeners would really love to hear about this stuff. Yes. So what I can say for sure is pleasure heals. That is a downright automatic fact. Uh, it has been proven true in my own body. It has been proven true in the women I've worked with and the clients that I work with and the places that I've experienced it. I just know that as a fact. Um, and there's science behind it, right? Because the more pleasure that you're in, the more feel good, oxytocin, um, all the endorphins are released into your body. And it literally allows yourself to expand. And so when you're in an expansive, elevated state, you can then you know, manifest your healing or you can then bring in your healing. Or what actually I believe happens is you then allow your own body to remove and to be in pleasure in its own emotion. So for my own case, endometriosis to me started when I was working at the law firm and it was this deep, deep pain in my uterus. It really felt like my ovaries were being twisted and then like pulled upon. And then it would feel like this hot knife, like wrenching through my uterus. And I had no idea what this was. It was like, I don't really, I don't, I don't really know. And I had an OBGYN that was a woman and she literally said to me, people live with chronic pain all the time. And I said back to her, I'm not one of them. That's why I'm here. Because otherwise I could be a pain by myself. Right. So we did all of the tests and all of the things and, you know, sent me to all the other doctors. And I'm like, well, it looks like you have endometriosis. And I'm like, oh, yay. So uh, did all of the drugs to combat that, to combat my period, to, you know, the theory was if you stop bleeding, then you'll stop being in pain. So did birth controls from here to here to here to here to here, um, trying to find the right one. Um, and our society has, like you said, this great bonus of us being disconnected. So the more pain I'm in, the more drugs I need, the more I hurt, the more doctors I need to see, the more they don't know, the more specialists we need to call in. So it was never, nobody ever asked me, are you in pleasure or is there pleasure in your life? Or that was never a question. Um, so we did that whole roller coaster for a very long time, a very long time. Um, I then left the law firm, went to go teeth pole dancing. And my sister had said to me, you should go see this iridologist. She reads your irises and tells you what's going on with your body. And I was like, okay, because I yeah. tried everybody else. So she can not <laughs> try anything. anything. Exactly. And I got there and she was like, um, uh, we need to put you on a little detox. We need to do this. We need to do this. And she started introducing other things like chlorophyll and, you know, vitamin D and uh, green teas and things of a more holistic nature. And, and like I said, I was also no longer in the corporate world, which is where my body started to die to begin with. So leaving that, going on to a holistic path, but still nobody had said to me, is there pleasure in your life? Have you had an orgasm today? When was the last time you thought about an orgasm? When was the last time you've sat with your own pussy? When was nobody, nobody is making these connections. And it wasn't until I actually don't have a year on it, but it wasn't until I started connecting myself. Like I got a drop in of like, oh, we are pleasure beings. Like we have literally been made for pleasure whether it be how you like your hair stroked to how you love your hands rubbed, everything about your body, everything about your body is about creating a sensory feel good experience. Um, so when that dropped in, I was like, Oh, then I need to, I need to find some pleasure. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> okay. Let's get on the train. And I think it was 2018. 
I'm now pretty exhausted. I'm running a bakery 15 hours a day, still teaching pole dance, still pouring out to other people. And uh, I had decided I needed someone to pour into me. And I was like, and I need it to be somebody pretty great. And because of my relationship with pole dance, I had always heard of Mama Gina, but had never inquired about her work. So I make this declaration out into the universe. I need to be poured into, and I need it to be someone great. And up pops an ad for Mama Gina's experience in New York. I was like, okay, Ooh. I'm going. <laughs> I have whole body chills and my nipples are hard. They always get hard when something is right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't know exactly the point that endometriosis developed and I don't know exactly the point that it was healed, but I can tell you at my last visit, they were like, we see no signs. And I'm like, awesome. I, have you know, had my own reproductive health issues, but so many women that I work with in women's circles or retreats, we talk all about emotional health and wellness, but I'm not a doctor, but many people talk to me about their physical health and wellness and endometriosis seems to be across the board. Like, uh, I mean, like one in two women that I work with have some form of whether it's endometriosis or really, you know, challenging cycles or pain in some way focused on this area. And I think the more I learn spiritually, the more it's no wonder why we are living this way as women. And the more that we can reconnect and reclaim pleasure, um, the healthier the healthier we are. I'm glad that you're enjoying Open Late Podcast in this way. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss one. And check out this next video for more tips, insights, and my expertise on non-monogamy and polyamory. If you want full episodes, you can find them wherever you download your podcasts.